Welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. What's going on, crew? Today, we have two variations of the 95 Honda Integra Type R Japan Spec. All right, so if you've seen the videos before, you know that we opened the white one, which is right here. And then a little while later, we went ahead and opened the black and blue one, which is right here. Then what Jada did was they released a fourth 132nd color, which is this one. And then just recently, they released another 132nd color of the um, Integra. Now, you might think that they are the same but they do have some differences. So let's go ahead and get these two opened, and then we will see what the difference on them is. So, like I explained um, just before the unboxing, they did release the um, Honda Integra Type R's. They made three colors in the 124th scale, which were white, black, and blue. And then they made four colors in the 132nd scale, which were white, black, blue, and yellow, which was this one. And then just recently, they released a whole bunch of new uh, 132nd scales that were different colors and we have this one here. But they both look yellow, but there are some differences. So this was the first release. We're going with an item number 30479. And that one looks like it should match the bottom of the car. 30479. And then we're going with the second release, which would be this box. And right there is the generic number of 24077. So we need to look at the item number on the bottom of the car. And this one is saying 31027. So that is the box compared to the car. All right, so now let's get these two compared because I believe that there is really only one difference between the two vehicles. I'm sure that you've probably already noticed it them just sitting here so let's just go ahead and show that difference and then i guess we can take a look around them let me just readjust my camera real quick to get it a little bit lower all right i will put them oh, how should we do it Side by side and front right there. Oh. Alright, so there it is. I'm sure you guys can see the difference already. But if you haven't spotted it, around the doors and back window, it is painted black. See that, guys? 
around the windows. They are painted black. This was the first release. Now in the second release, you guys notice the difference? They did not put any black. So on the second release vehicle, they saved a little bit of money and they just left everything yellow. So to a lot of people, that's not a big difference. But I know if you guys are a collector of certain vehicles, um, you guys like to get the variations. So make sure if you guys are collecting this Acura, or not even Acura, they consider it a Honda, make sure you look for the both variations. This was the first release, and this was the second release. Otherwise, everything else should be the same on it. It's got the nice bright yellow paint, the Honda logo in the front, clear plastic for the headlights, the grill in there is plastic. Going to the passenger side, you have the nice white wheels, white rims, rubber tires. It does have the Integra Type R on the bottom quarter. The back, they do the Honda logo, the Type R logo, JDM tuner license plate, a red clear plastic for the taillights. They do paint the exhaust silver. The spoiler up here is plastic. And then same on the driver's side. Take a look inside the driver's side. And it is just all black casting. And just quickly going around the second release, everything looks the same. Same Type R logo, the only difference is right here. There is no black. Same logo and license plate and silver for the exhaust on the other one. And the inside is the same. So there we go, there is another um, variant for the Honda Integra Type R, and this is the 132nd scale. And I know they did this on two other models, I believe. The um, 90, I don't know what it was, 2000 or 98 Honda Hatchback. They're doing a variation for the 132nd as well in the black version and in the blue version. I did put up a video on the black version. I'll show it here. Um, in that video, I did say that it was a pullback, and originally they only released the pullbacks, but now they actually did release ones that are non-pullbacks, but they are the black on black. So there's another variant on that one. And then, like I said, on the blue 132nd, they are also coming out with a variant on that one. I believe it has different rims and a different banner on it. So when I get that one, I suppose we can compare those. But on that one, I have not found it yet. But which one do you guys like better? Do you like the one with the black around the window or just the yellow? To be honest, I think the black gives it a little bit of a character. Kind of separates the door from the paint. Rather than on this one, it just, I don't know, it just kind of looks a little cheaper. Like, I like the fact that you can't really tell where the top of the door meets the body on this one. But if you're looking at this one, you can completely see. Yep, that's the door. <laughs> so there is my evaluation, I would say, on these cars. So there we go, guys. Just did a quick video on a little comparison on these two cars. Like I said, if this is a model you like to collect, I know you guys like to see different um, variants. So, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Spent Too Much Diecast crew. Then make sure you guys also hit that, mel that bell notification. That way you guys can get notified every time I put up a new video. Mia decided to run in to the room and she wants to make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Bye. Alrighty, till next time. We will see you later. Bye, crew. <laughs>
by crew. Thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again, everybody, and have a great day.